Anybody who's watched this channel for more than a few months knows that I've done several videos on this particular lie, and it seems that no matter how many times it's been debunked, they still just keep trotting it out. After that now infamous protest over public statues, President Trump held a press conference where he tried to describe the event as being between two groups of people, the extremist and the people he described as very fine people. He explained that there was violent groups there on the left and the right, being Antifa, BLM, the neo-Nazis, and white nationalists. Then he explained that there was another group of people there, both left and right, who were just normal people there to protest either the removal of the statues or keeping the statues. He described those people as very fine people and then condemned the neo-Nazis and white nationalists. You had some very bad people in that group, but you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group that were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very, very important statue. You had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? Look, I mean, he's not the most eloquent guy, but I've watched the press conference several times and it's very clear what he's saying. The media then chopped up that 17 minute press conference into a three second soundbite and used it to completely misrepresent what Trump said. Since then, all the network, all the cable, all the print media has repeated that lie and completely misrepresented the quote. Many have debunked it, not that it even requires debunking because anybody can just go and watch the press conference. I think people that believe Trump called neo-Nazis very fine people just want to believe it and they make a conscious effort not to actually watch the 17 minute Q&A. I know a lot of people have said that that press conference was done later after the controversy sparked, but no, that is the press conference that sparked the controversy. Fast forward to today and Nancy Pelosi's butt hurt after getting destroyed by Trump during the national prayer breakfast. She obviously needed some sort of fire to come back at Trump with, so she decided just to trot out this old lie. And they are giving uh, encouragement to people to do things. Just as remember Charlottesville, people were coming down that hill with tiki torches saying, the Jews will not replace us, the Jews will not replace us. And what was the president's statement? They're good people on both sides. Really? The Jews will not replace us and the good people on both sides? Wrong. Now, I just want to point out that it was a reporter from the press corps that teed her up for that, and then none of them corrected her afterwards. As screwed up as it is, that's because the press is part of the grift. Not only is she lying about what Trump said, but she's not even referencing the correct event. She's getting two different events mixed up. The douchebags with the tiki torches were a completely separate event from the protests over the statues. Joe Biden's also been out there spreading this lie, and he actually got called out for it by a Breitbart reporter once, and what do you think the media's response to that was? They framed Biden as defiant and the reporter as the bad guy. It's simply undeniable that Trump never called neo-Nazis good people and in fact condemned them. And yet the media just carries on telling this lie over and over because they know repeating it makes it true. That's why I have to keep doing videos on this specific topic. As as long as they're gonna lie about it, I'm gonna keep calling it out. And since we're on the topic of the media purposely misrepresenting Trump's words, we saw the same thing during the impeachment hearings when Democrats claimed that Trump said that he could do whatever he wanted. Sir, informing your opinion, did you review these statements from President Trump? Well, we're fighting all the subpoenas. Then I have an article two where I have the right to do whatever I want as president. I did, and as someone who cares about the Constitution, the second of those in particular struck a kind of horror in me. What they don't show you is that he's talking specifically about Robert Mueller and firing him. The media have dutifully played their part and have been reporting this lie as well. Or how about just today when CNN tweeted out a supposed fact check where they called Trump a liar for saying Comey admitted to leaking. The problem is CNN's own reporting shows that Comey admitted that he was a leaker. What more do I need to show you? Who out there takes CNN or any of the network and cable news networks seriously at this point? It's all just partisan political garbage that's tearing this country apart. All I know is that as long as they're telling these lies, I'm gonna do my best to expose them. If you'd like to support me in that mission, please like, share, and subscribe. Please also consider supporting me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or PayPal. 
For just a dollar a month, you'll get early access to all my videos. Without all of those supporters, this channel would have ended a long time ago when YouTube demonetized it. Instead, it's thriving and growing, thanks to all of you. Thank you, keep coming back. <laughs>